This tutorial is brought to you by Free Switch Solutions. Get the Free Switch Advantage. Welcome back to Free Switch with Fred. My name is Fred Mutesa and I'm going to be covering sending and receiving fax with Free Switch. Uh, Free Switch can transmit electronic documents to a destination fax machine. Only TIFA or TIF documents can be transmitted. However, it is possible to convert a number of formats, for example, PDF to TIF. In this video, I'll be showing you some free tools that we can use to convert PDF documents to TIF. In simple terms, sending a fax requires only a few things such as a TIF file and a gateway and destination fax machine. But for testing purposes, we are going to download a TIF file and then send it and receive it within the same free switch box. Of course, we need to upload our file into a known location. For example, we shall use our temporary directory and then have the file named just using a simple name that you can easily access. Let's copy over our file onto the temp directory. And once that has been done, we need to verify that it has all the required permissions. Using the loopback logic, we are going to send the video back to ourselves. So we are going to generate a call that goes to 9178. And then when you check that snippet in the default dial plan, you will see that this particular extension processes a fax file that has been sent and saves it somewhere. So when you, when you look at the logs, you see that the fax has been sent successfully. I'll show you in the default dial plan how this extension actually processes the fax file. You see that we have the it answers and then plays back a silent stream and then receives the file and saves it under RX fax in the temporary directory. You can actually see that the file was received by FreeSwitch. It's uh, rxfax.tif and it's in the temp directory. So I have a file here I've created from the sample file that FreeSwitch provides and I've written there test file created by Fred. I'm going to upload this file over to the server and then once I do that, this is a PDF, a PDF file. I want to convert it to TIF and then process it using FreeSwitch. So this file has been copied over. I'll rename it to a simpler name and then use GS to convert it. This GS command is basically the Go script that we use to convert PDF files to TIF files. And after that, I'll create a DAO plan that will be able to process my file. And in this DAO plan, I'm basically receiving a fax and sending it over via email to myself. I'll write an email script as well that will be executed on receiving the fax. I need to set a from address and in this case I'm going to set free switch test at freesuite.org and then of course a real name that is Fredo Enterprises. You can set all that those variables to something that you fancy. And then I'll give execute permissions to the script. And I have to install the development files. And then I'm going to install a mail server for my email demo to work and I'm going to install exam. You just have to follow the instructions that are displayed on screen after running the apt-get command. They are really self-explanatory and once you go th through them successfully, you should have exam installed.
So I'm going to do a test email. And then that, that is a test I've actually received. It shows that it has actually come from my server, FS test. I'll show you another demo. You can actually see that the email has come in. Uh, that is test and all triple threes. After verifying that my email is actually working, I need to set file data for the email that I'll be sending. This is test email for testing fax. Best regards, Fred Mutesa. And you can actually see that the email has come in. This is a test email from for testing fax. Now, after configuring my email services on the server, so I'm sending and receiving the fax myself, but this time I've updated the dial plan to receive a fax and send it over via email, having a hang up hook where I will run the script to convert the TIF file to PDF. And this file is basically found in the temp directory. My dial plan receives a call that is going to Codro 9 and then when it receives that call, it processes. You can actually see my email has popped in, and here it has an attachment of a PDF file. And this is a PDF file that I had created, and this is a file that the server has sent over. So you can actually verify that the names that were generated are the same. That link should take you to the Confluence page where you can actually see more conversion options, where you can play with the resolution and the quality and the size and many other options. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. If you want to advance your knowledge in free switch, check out our website for the best training offers. Or you can meet us at the Glucon Conference in Illinois, Chicago.